Peggy, Lisa, you want to go ahead and just Vince. Good afternoon. I want to welcome everybody here to our fourth open house Schenectady. And uh, we're pleased today to be able to announce our next phase of housing in the city of Schenectady. Now, I want to point out that this phase is still a, a dynamic process and it's evolutionary because we have the potential in the city to take title to over 700 properties and we hope that that doesn't happen that we in fact uh, have people who will step up to the plate and uh, pay their taxes maintain their property but if it doesn't we're prepared to go forward in working with uh, our partners key bank prudential realty school district other realtors other banks nbt has been there for some of the uh, first time home buyers that we will be able to attract individuals to this community who want to uh, own and uh, maintain property. And I should say be owner-occupied property. This house, as we look at it today, is a little bit in distress. Uh, we're fortunate to have uh, Michael Morata here today, who his uh, grandfather actually built this house. Yep. And it's in decline, you know, it's unfortunate the way it is, but what we're going to do is use this as an example. We're going to renovate this house, bring it up to a uh, all current code standards, and we have the rendering there so that it will be an asset to the neighborhood. And we want to use this as a model that we will do this across this neighborhood and across this city. And it's the only way we're going to be able to do that is have everybody working together. And I want to now introduce one of our key partners, John Yagelski, the uh, superintendent of Schenectady City Schools. We're not quite choreographed as well here. As I <laughs> but, John. Well, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you. As, as a superintendent of schools, I want to tell you that we are really pleased and proud to be partnering on this whole Key to the City program. Uh, from my perspective, the schools and the city go hand in hand. We in the school system, while we have many wonderful things happening, we know we need to lift our schools to an even higher standard. That's the same thing we're trying to do in the city. Doing it together makes all the difference in the world. I was actually talking with the grandfather who actually built the house and was telling me about how many children have actually lived in this house and gone to our schools. So I'm excited about the uh, prospect of uh, this place coming back, being so close to our uh, schools, and uh, again, feeding students to our schools. I'm really pleased that we were able to be part of this program and uh, we'll stay with it as much as we can. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, John. Really a great leader. And one of our key partners, of course, is Key Bank. We have uh, Joe Reedhammer here today to again uh, update us and some of the things that are happening. And uh, thank you, Joe, for again your participation in this program. Oh, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here today, and thank you everyone for coming out. Such a wonderful afternoon. Today is the day that Key to the City comes full circle. Today, a solution to a problem which had begun over many years ago. A solution, though, however, has started only a few months ago, has finally come to fruition here with Key to the City Homes, Stage 2. The Homes Initiative is a natural progression within the Key to the City framework and is the first step to systematically bringing back to life some of the more troubled structures here in Schenectady. It is often said that from small things, big things one day will grow. The Key to the City partnership is a perfect example of just that. Over a year ago, a fledgling partnership between the City of Schenectady, Key Bank, and Prudential Manor Homes had begun. Today, this partnership has grown tenfold and is now comprised of many city departments, local businesses, and citizens spread across all the city who share a common desire to see these great neighborhoods return to their prominence. Homes is the result of this great partnership. 
Just a quick update on some of the numbers, just to keep you guys abreast of our progress here in the city of Schenectady. To this point, there have been 600 inquiries regarding key to the city financing and purchases now within the city. More than 35 homes have already closed since the inception of this program, and there are a dozen currently pending. Key to the city partnered with homes is just a make sense win for everybody. Here we are at the doorstep of being able to bring back some of these depressed neighborhoods, rehab these homes, and turn them over with 100% financing to responsible new families. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Mary Delisandro with Prudential Realty, who's done a lot of legwork in putting all our numbers together and uh, helping uh, just coordinate this. And Mary, appreciate your help and effort and the whole team at Prudential. My pleasure. Prudential is very proud to be one of the, among the partners of this team. This is a program that will enable the city to flourish. The energy among all of us is endless and the excitement continues to grow. We have begun, just begun and we have had significant results. The statistics for the first quarter in the county, in the county is up 24.7. And yet in the city itself, it is up 39%. This is significant. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Now, I'd uh, have Eric Schelling, our uh, building inspector, uh, give kind of a, a quick recap of uh, some of the possibilities that we have, and then we'll be available for any questions. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, my name is Eric Schilling. I'm the building inspector here, and uh, in uh, light of the vision of the mayor of uh, this city to revitalize these depressed and deteriorating properties, we've developed a myriad of programs. That, uh, today is the kickoff of uh, two of these programs, and we're very, very pleased to announce the beginning of this revitalization of the neighborhoods of Schenectady. Behind us is a home that uh, we will be uh, rehabilitating throughout this year. Um, it is a home that is seriously distressed and in need of a lot of help. We are going to be uh, putting a program of uh, um, government rehabilitation together with this one. Um, it's it's a, certainly a home that's valuable being near the school system and on a main corridor. We're also announcing a home uh, also on Van Branken Avenue that will uh, be part of a private uh, rehabilitation program involving private contractors. Um, we should have that uh, home available to private contractors um, shortly after Memorial Day and we will be releasing information concerning uh, contractors having to get in touch with us to put in applications to help us with that. These efforts are going to continue with a host of other programs um, including uh, green space initiatives, uh, certainly some demolition of the most deteriorated, most distressed properties. Uh, there's going to be a street initiatives. So there's going to be whole, ma whole neighborhood makeover programs that are going to be part of this homes program. We're very excited about what it lends itself to, uh, about being here today to start on this home and another home also on Van Branken, and uh, shortly to announce areas throughout the city of which we will target in uh, great concentration. Uh, we're looking forward to input, we're looking forward to patience, uh, and we're looking forward to results. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. My colleagues in government in the city, uh, connected to city council members who are here, Marion Porterfield, Peggy King, Lisa Perrazzo, Vince Riggi. Anybody want to say anything? Any comments? Oh, just we're excited. Okay. I've been an advocate of neighborhoods for a long, long time, and I think programs like this is what the city needs. Working together with the school district, we need all these components together to make it work, and I'm really happy that the mayor has put this together with the staff. And uh, neighborhoods are so important to uh, the common good of all of Schenectady. And with a good, vibrant school program, along with neighborhoods, getting young families to move back to Schenectady is what we need, and I'm very excited also. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions?
Would anybody like to put an offer in on the house? <laughs> I thank everybody for coming out today. Again, the staff is available here if anybody does have any questions.